OK, so in this video, I'm going to go through these nine examples of solving quadratic inequalities. So let's just start straight away, shall we? So number one, x plus 1, x minus 5 is less than 0. So if it's in factorised form. You've got 0 on the right-hand side, so it's all ready to go. So I'm just going to draw a sketch, and the parabola is going through minus 1 and 5. So where is the parabola below the x-axis? Well, it's below it here in this region. And so the answer to the inequality is x is greater than minus 1, but less than 5. OK, and so that's number 1. Right, number 2. We've got x plus 2, x plus 6 is greater than equal to 0. Once again, we've got 0 on the right-hand side. We've got it factorised, all ready to go. So let's draw a parabola. It's going through minus 6 and minus 2, so minus 6, minus 2. And we're looking at where the graph is above or equal to 0, above or equal to the x-axis. So that's there and there. So x is going to be less than or equal to minus 6, or x is greater than or equal to negative 2. OK, so that's example number 2. OK. Right, number three. So we've got x squared take away 6x take away 7 is less than or equal to 0. Now, we've got 0 on the right-hand side, but it's not factorised. So can we factorise? It would be the first thing we would want to do. OK, so this factorises to x take away 7, x plus 1, and that's less than or equal to 0. So you then sketch the graph. It's going through minus 1 and 7. Where is the graph below or equal to the x-axis? That's there. And so x is greater than or equal to minus 1, but less than or equal to 7. And that solves the inequality. OK. Right, next one. x squared plus 9x plus 20 is greater than 0. Right. So first of all, can you factorise it? So we've got x plus 4, x plus 5 is greater than 0. Draw yourself your parabola, minus 5 and minus 4. Where is the graph above the x-axis? That's there, so that bit and that bit. So x is less than minus 5, or x is greater than minus 4. OK, and so that answers number 4. OK, right, number five. Now, this time, I have got in factorised form, but I've got this sneaky minus sign out the front, OK? So what I could do here is I could do this in one of two ways. Either you then sketch this as going, right, because of the minus, it's going to be a minus x squared, and you're going to have minus 5 and 11. And then ask yourself, where is the parabola, where is the graph below the x-axis? Well, it's below it there or there. So x is less than minus 5 or x is greater than 11. Now, you could do it that way. Or, alternatively, you could multiply through by minus 1 and instead solve this inequality. So remember, multiplying through by minus 1 will reverse the direction of your inequality symbol and solve this inequality instead, which is a parabola up that way. And we've got minus 5 and 11. Where is the parabola above the x-axis? Well, there and there, which is precisely x is less than minus 5 or x is greater than 11. OK, so you could solve it in one of those two different ways. Right, uh, number six. Now, number six you've got to be a little bit careful with. It is in factorised form. We can go straight to the sketch. But notice how you've got this minus x inside the bracket, so that if you multiplied that through, you would get a minus x squared. So that means the graph is that way up. It's very easy to get caught out on that one. So where is it crossing the x-axis? Well, that would be at minus 6 and plus 3. So minus 6 and plus 3. Where is the graph above or equal to the x-axis? Well, that's between 
So minus 6 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. And that solves number 6. OK, number 7. x squared plus x plus 10 is greater than 0. OK, well, the first instinct is to factorise, right? Now, if you can't spot the factorisation, I would be going to my quadratic solver. So I'm going to do that now. So going into polynomial solver, polynomial degree 2, and we want 1, 1, and 10. Now, actually, what happens is that your calculator says that x1 is minus 1 plus root 39i over 2. And the second solution is minus, so it's actually these two results here. Now, if your calculator gives you a value that's got this i involved, that means you're going into complex numbers. Um, now, complex numbers, um, and in this case i with the imaginary number, um, what that means for the parabola is that it doesn't cross the x-axis. There are no real solutions. OK? Now, if you wanted to go down the complex numbers route, then that probably op that really opens up a whole can of worms. OK? All you need to identify at this stage for A-level maths is that that means that the parabola does not cross the x-axis. So it is a positive x squared. It doesn't cross the x-axis, and so looks like that. So if you're then asked... Where is the parabola above the x-axis? Well, it's above it everywhere for all real values of x. So this is true for all x belonging to the real numbers, for all real values of x. OK? Now, you can also, you know, if you're interested, abbreviate for all to an upside down a, if you want to include that in your notation. OK, so true for all x belonging to the real numbers. So that's one way of writing it. You don't need to learn the for all sign if you don't want to. OK, just a little bit of uh, extra. OK, number eight. So x squared plus 6x take away 1. Now, remember, if you can't see the factorization quickly, I'm going to go straight to my quadratic solver. Uh, 1, 6, and minus 1. And I get, oh, x is plus on, so x is minus 3 plus or minus root 10. So we've definitely got solutions. It's a positive parabola, OK? Uh, so we've got minus 3 minus root 10 and minus 3 plus root 10. They're the two points where it crosses the x-axis. So where is the graph below the x-axis? It's below it there, in between. So the solution is x is greater than minus 3 take away root 10 and less than minus 3 plus root 10. OK? Right, that's number 8. And finally, number 9. OK, so number 9, um, we've got minus x squared plus 4x take away 11 uh, is greater than 0. Now, You've got, you could multiply through by minus 1 here, OK? Let's say we don't do that to start off with. Uh, we can't spot the factorisation, so I'm going to pop it into my quadratic solver. Minus 1, 4, and minus 11. Oh, minus 11, sorry. And we get 2 plus or minus root 7i. There's that i number again, OK? So that means it's got no real roots. So you can either look at this and say, right, it's got no root, so it doesn't cross the x-axis. It's a negative parabola, so it must look like that if it's negative and can't cross the x-axis. OK? And then it's asking, where is the graph above the x-axis? Well, it never is. OK? So there are no real solutions to that inequality. OK? There, is no value, there are no values of x for which that is true. Um, let's put that instead. So no, no real values of x 
for which it is true. Now let's say instead you'd multiply through by minus 1 and instead wanted to solve x squared take away 4x plus 11 is less than 0. Okay, if you were to pop that into your quadratic solver, 1 minus 4, 11, your quadratic solver would still say 2 plus or minus root 7i. There's still no solutions. But what it means now is that you've got a positive parabola, like so, above your x-axis, and then asking where is the parabola below the x-axis. Well, it never is. There are no real values of x to which it is true. Okay? And so that is how we can solve each of these inequalities.